Bradley game, Simon Says. Um, so I guess we'll just show you how it works. That was a self-test. As you can see, it does a pattern with the lights and you have to press the corresponding touch sensor, but when you make a mistake, I'm purposely going to make this mistake, you fail and the game ends. Hey, I'm Jordan Fletcher, and this is my robot and my partner, Johnny Five. Um, it's modeled after the movie. Um, it came out when I was little. I don't remember the exact time, but... Um, it's a movie about a robot uh, that had a glitch with a personality. But basically it's built on a, a triangle shaped frame. You can see the blocks going in there, the crossway. And it's run like it's run like a tank bot um, with two motors that uh, power two different treads. The treads are also put on a triangle frame with um, an extra axle. Again, um, there's a third motor, and that's running a belt, which is attached to this axle here, and the worm gear, which turns the head back and forth. Um, that's the basic inner workings of this robot. Um, its vision is produced by a light sensor, you can kind of see it, it's in there, between the eyes. And um, these arms don't really do a whole lot there, mostly for decoration. But that is basically my robot in a nutshell. Um, yeah. So let's see. Um, yeah, go ahead. You better describe what it's doing here. Right now, it's looking around the room for the strongest source of light. Huh. Oh, which maybe is the camera, because this yeah. camera has a lo little light on it. Yeah, it probably saw that, and it does it repeatedly. Let's so, it. it'll look for the strongest source of light. It'll do a second scan with the body. It'll move back to the strongest force of light and then follow it again. Oh, yeah, it's coming for the camera. Yeah. Huh, what's up? Robotic piano player. Um, we wanted to name him something cool, so his name is like Beethoven. So he's going to play the piano for us. And basically what is going to happen is we're going to turn it on. Actually, it's already on. And it's connected. Uh, it has three motors that are connected to each set of keys. And every time the motor is turned on, one key will go down and one key will go up. Or fingers. And um, they're going to hit the keys. So we're going to turn it around. And it plays on six different keys of the piano. Uh, it can only play one key per set, and uh, I guess we're going to start. Oh, we also have to hold it down, otherwise it shoots back, shoots back by the power of it. And that's our... That was Beautiful piano playing by Beethoven. Okay, so here are the six fingers that are just made of these beams. And um, back here, this is where the motor is. There's one, ax there's one um, gear right here, which is connected to these crown gears, which kind of, they are pointed inwards rather than outside. So when one goes down, the other goes up. Like that, like so. And then um, the motors are in the back, and then here's the head. It's more of just a, a decorative thing 
to make him look more lifelike. Um, yeah, the motor's in the back, and they're wired in a specific way due to polarity. Um, basically, this is note one, th or this is note one and two, three and four, five and six, and they're wired differently. They kind of crisscross because note one is on A, yet it's on that side. So, yeah. And then here's our RCX. Um, we kind of just built, well, I kind of built a place for the RCX to lie and just sit there. It's kind of heavy, so you have to support it when you're holding it up, but it kind of just fits right in there. Like, you can just pop it out. It's kind of cool. All right, it's cool. Hi, I'm David. And I'm Nick. And we built a truck bot. It is essentially a car, and it really resembles a truck. It is driven by two motors with a one to five um, gear ratio, and it's uh, the energy is then transferred to an eight, uh, 18th um, gear, and then it's transferred to a differential. And it can steer using a rack and pinion gear system. The motor goes on, so then when the motor like turns, makes this turn. Mm -hmm. So yeah.